Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. Y'all, today I got the guest bedroom for you. Now, I'm halfway through, okay? And I'm gonna share this with y'all because this is, right now, this is what's going on for fall. But in a couple weeks, I'll come back with a, a refresh on this. Today's video is sponsored by Yida Home. I'm gonna have a link in the description box for you guys, as well as a link for a, um, a code for 10% off your purchase. They sponsored the video today, which I, I appreciate and I thank them, by giving me these two sideboards. They're called side sideboards, yeah. Um, they are the bamboo and uh, like black iron. Y'all, I'm going I'm to take you up close and personal. Give me a second. But are they cute or what? Now let me show you this back wall. This is what I've been working towards. See that? Y'all pulled out some more of the mirrors, that I, the miracle mirrors, I call them. And, um, yeah, I am in love. Now, I pulled out this mustard-colored quilt. I had got this over the summer from Amazon. It has the little pom-poms on the bottom. If anybody's interested, I'll link that. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box to that, too. Um, that's not nothing to do with today's video. I purchased this. But um, it's cute, and it comes in all different kinds of colors. And, you know, at this point, I think I'll throw a gray um, quilt, fold it and throw it over the bottom of it. And maybe that'll make it better for me. But it's just too much color for me in this room right now. But it's, it's good. And, you know, I always keep me a bed tray, right? And even though it's not my room for my guest, they would have to have a bed tray too, right? So I have these uh, reindeer. I got these from Target last year. And then I have a water container, a cup and a candle over here and the remote to the tv you hear the crackling noise from the thing i found that y'all i'm late i know i found it on roku but anyway so i did that and I, the dressers do you see the eyesore right they're very nice dressers guys very nice dressers they just are not like i don't have the need for them and it's just too much in the room too much too dark it's got to go so they're going to be leaving soon. And then when they leave, I have plans for two pieces that I'm going to put in here, but it's all open shelving. And I'll explain that to y'all too. And that's going to be coming up on another video in a couple weeks. But anyway, this bed, I've had this in here since you, I've been on YouTube. So you guys have seen this. It's a gray tufted uh, headboard and bed frame. It's a tight squeeze in here. So you see the bed frame, all of it's gray. And, um... You know, it works with any color. You can put any color with this. So I keep this in here. It's neutral. But y'all, this is the star of the show today. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? And then this here is, um, you know, the, uh, what is that? You can see through it, you see, with the holes in it. And then there's two shelves in here. And both doors open up. So you have a lot of storage in here. And then look at the size. These are 31 inches wide, y'all. 31 inches. I thought, you know what? Why You can put what, a piece of furniture wherever you want it. I thought these would be gorgeous as nightstands. And um, I'm glad I got them. The mirror that I put over top of the nightstands in black cost $7 at Walmart. These are Walmart's dollar, uh, $7 mirrors. Right, and then I took these lamps that I had thrifted for five dollars and some cent, and I painted them out black. I did that on a video with you guys. I was live one day talking and painting, and I painted them out black. And it's the same neutral color shade that's on there, and it worked. I just put some greenery in the corner with a little uh, giraffe wood giraffe, and I always got my Alexa around. So she's always somewhere in all the rooms. And, um, yeah, and then the TV is still right here. But my idea for this TV, guys, once I get the dressers out, this right here is my desk. Where you see when I go live, this is where I'm sitting at. This, I'm going to take this for now because I use this room as a guest room slash um, office space. You know, it's my extra bedroom. So I take, I'm going to take this and put this over here against this window. That will help me with backlighting. And, you know, for the, the videos to be a little bit brighter. And it's going to help me with space. And then there's a small shelving unit. That's the bamboo and wrought iron. And I found it at Bed Bath & Beyond. 
and I'm gonna put it there and I'm gonna put my TV over here. And I have a stand that makes the TV a little bit taller to go on there. So the TV will go here, right? And see those mirrors? I didn't waste them, I kept them in here. And um, so I'm gonna put the TV there once that, you know, the and then this area will open up. I have a big piece of wall art that I wanna put there, right? And then on this side, when this dresser is gone, I have a taller piece, like a five shelf unit that matches that TV stand I was just telling you about that'll go here. And it'll give me some height in here and then I can decorate it and put a couple little decorative things on there. But I don't need as much storage in this room as far as dressers and stuff, because nobody lives here. You know, you don't need that. I just tend to fill it up with stuff and I don't need that. I'd rather just go to somebody else's like a project set and somebody can paint this and make it, you know, these dressers and make it to, or keep them like they are if they want to. But they can make it their own, you know. I don't need that for a guest. Ain't no guest staying no longer than maybe a week. Yeah, and then you got to go. You got to go home. <laughs> right, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get out of here. So then, you know, I make these, right. And I put these in here for now. These were the ones that was out by the front door, but I'm doing something for the winter different out there so I just put these in here so these are the little terrarium um apothecary jars I thrift the apothecary jars I've thrifted them over the years I got a bunch of them and then I take faux succulents rocks any little thing you see and I put them little uh pine cones everything is in here and I make like a terrarium on this side I do the same thing with a little pl uh, plant in the corner and then I got some pumpkins in the mustard because we're in fall and a uh, vintage um fairy lamp same lamp and um, mirror over here and then again you got the shelving unit I have some stuff stored in here already too some little houses I might decorate with later and a couple little pieces I got a couple things in that side but yeah these it's gonna be good for storage some housewares you know and um yeah I'm good I like that so this is that back wall and that's what I wanted to share with y'all today Right? I'm loving it, y'all. And the pillows. These pillows here, these came from uh, Timu. I have the lumbar and then I have the 20 by 20s back there. And then these came from Timu also. They're just two lumbars. And then in the back, the gray and the mustard pillowcases, they came from Ikea over time. But yeah, so I just have my little deck. You know, I love my decorative pillows. A lot of y'all be mad at me for my pillows, but that's all right. <laughs> Anyway, then I got this bar cart. Yo, I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond before they closed down. This cost me $32, this bar cart. And funny, it's the bamboo look, bamboo wood with the wrought iron. This has been in here for a while, though, because I actually use it for, you see my printer down there? I use it for stuff like that. Now let's talk about this candle. I showed y'all this in several videos now. Look at the candle holder, I mean. And then if you look at the candle, I'm going to move this. I just turned this on. If you look at this candle, look at the strawberries. Leah sent them to me. Oh, is that gorgeous or what? So wickless candle under a candle warmer. And again, I will put this, I'll link this candle warmer and the candles in the description box as well. I'll put them in um, just in case anybody's interested. They make nice Christmas gifts. So yeah, that's it, y'all. And I have this for my office supplies and my printer right here and eventually like i said this will change once i get rid of the dressers so these curtains i had put these up they're just panels on each side they're not meant to close or anything just some you know had some height over here was the window was so plain so i added that little rod with the um gray curtain panels in here last year so and i do need to go with something a different color maybe i'll change out these panels i don't know we'll see but yeah that's it y'all so i'm gonna again walk you around I have, um, and again, this is using your space wisely, guys. I have this little room that I have made a guest room for guests, and, or as my granddaughter would say, her room, <laughs> right? And then um, I also have this whole side where I use it as my office, and I'll show you that. See, this whole side right here is a place where I'll go on live with um, videos or go in and have Zoom meetings and things like that, or I'll do my lives, or I'll just sit here and do some work. I'll list things in here. Um, that closet is full of uh, stuff that I have to get out of here, and I'm going to clear that space out. That's when I was trying to do some listing, but it is what it is. And I got another little flower, I mean, a green piece of greenery over here. 
And so see, here's my little office area. But then if I have a guest, like I said, ignore that, act like it's not there. And the TV is uh, on the other wall. And then I'll have more space to go around the bed for a guest, you see? Yeah, I'm really liking it, y'all. I'm liking it. And Yida Home, thank you so much for this um, because it's making me make the change. I've known I need to get rid of these dressers for a long time. But once I put them together, and y'all, I was supposed to do a video. I was trying to do a video putting the things together. With the space I had in here and the fact that these things are marked. The first sentence on the direction says, have two adults to put this together. Not I ain't listen. Y'all, this was the hardest thing I ever had to put together. But when I tell you it's worth it, I did it by myself. So it can be done. But I would suggest if you're going to buy something like this that has to be put together, have two people. It makes it easier for you. But yeah, so when I t but it also has shown me I need to open up the space a little better. And like I said, with open, open shelving on this wall, I'll still be able to put up some decor. I'll be able to put those baskets for storage. Um, you know, just in case my debt, my guests need to store something private, you know, night clothes or something, I'll have those baskets in here, but it'll be all open shelving and I'll be able to use it for decor right there. And then on this wall, I'll be able to have a uh, more, a little bit of open shelving here, but also be able to put my TV on this wall. And then, like I said, eventually I could even move this computer out of here, um, or use the closet in here for my computer space, one or the other. But for right now, it's working for me, having the office in here. So, yeah. So, anyway, y'all, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about the new guest room. Remember, the dark dressers are leaving. Somebody's going to say, girl, you need to get rid of them dark dresses. Girl, I already know. I just can't lift them. So, somebody got to come get them. <laughs> but, so, before you tell me to get rid of the dark dressers, know they are going. Okay? They're going. So, um... The next time I show y'all this room in a couple weeks, it, you will see the um, pieces. One piece here, new piece, and one piece on this wall, and the desk move. All right, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you. Don't forget to check the description box for a link to Yida Home. Y'all, oh, I forgot to tell you the most important thing, y'all. These things are only $134 and some odd cents. And I think they're $139 right now. But with the discount code, you're going to get, I think, $14 off if you want these. Yeah, because it's 10% off. So you will get the discount. You'll get, it'll even be cheaper. And it's free shipping, y'all. Y'all, run get you some. Let me know what you decide to get. Just go look at, they have all kinds of stuff. Let me know if you buy something, too. But yeah, so cute, y'all. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. But check the description box because you will see um, the link to Yida Home plus Thrift 10. All together is going to be the um, discount code. Thrift 10. And you get 10% off. I'll also leave a link to um, this warmer, candle warmer. And, and the candle. I'll leave a link to Leah's website. Okay? And then, um, they're not sponsored today, but I'm going to leave a link for these too. And I'll also leave a link to this comforter because they, they come in all different colors. And, um, I like the boho look of it. You see the little pom-poms that go all the way around the comforter? Yeah. And then if you just go on Timu, if you're interested in the pillows, they have all different kinds of nice quality pillows. Look at that. And this is like a, you see... They're not cheapies. They're not cheapies at all. But the price wasn't bad. I think they were like 5 and $6 for the uh, pillow covers. All right, I'm hanging up on y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.